So we created this asset. There is only one asset in, yeah, there are two assets, but we completed the cycle for this. So we created this director car. Why we said director class? This was director cars, right? Car, not the class. Okay, anyways, this is just a description. So we created this director car as a vehicle and then we proceeded with uh, the acquisition cycle. Okay, so we already acquired this asset. So if I go to more and click on asset uh, explorer, let me see where exactly it is showing asset values. If not, maybe let's go out and click on uh, just on it. Normally it shows you asset values here. Let's go to the depreciation areas and see. Asset values. Okay, so normally in ECC, because we are using the 7.5 GUI, it is not showing us the button directly, but there was a button here where you can directly go to the asset values. So if you click on asset values, it will take you to asset explorer report. And in the asset explorer, it will show you that this asset was acquired on this particular date at this much amount with this transaction type. Okay, and in case of IFRS, it will show you some other amount because we uh, additionally posted this 1000 as a debit entry to this particular asset, which is related to the freight. Okay, and system has automatically calculated this depreciation amounts for the year. And then we also posted the depreciation for a particular month. Okay, and we are not left with much in asset accounting now, but we are only left with how to do the retirement or how to scrap the asset. Okay, where there is no change as I told you, but only thing is, uh, let's let's see that how it works. So if you now want to retire this asset, you will follow the same path that we were using in ECC. That is, you will go to accounting, financial accounting, fixed assets, Okay, in the postings, you will go for this retirement. Okay, otherwise this transfer AUC and all, there is no change at all. Whatever things you were doing in AUC transfer, exactly same. Even in retirement, there is no change, but why I'm showing you this is because uh, you should not get confused that in acquisition, there is a technical clearing account, but this technical clearing account will be also there in the retirement or not. Okay, so that is the reason I'm just showing you. So if you go to retirement, uh, there are multiple options whether you want to uh, retire with revenue or you want to retire without revenue so i'm going with retirement with revenue and i will double click on this f-92 which means i am retiring the asset and i'm selling it to the customer okay and let's say i want to retire this asset on 31st of 03 2020 Okay, or maybe, yeah, I think this would be better. So 31st of March, 2020, which means after one year of useful life of the asset. Now again, you can see here in SAP ECC, even if you go for the retirement of the asset, uh, the default document type, which system was picking was document type AA. Okay, but here in retirement, it is taking DR because again system is going to create two different documents one for uh, the normal operational document and two documents for valuation specific but please remember there is no need of technical clearing account here okay i'll show you why so just keep it as it is we are using document type dr and then in the posting key 01 you have to specify the customer, okay, as in ECC. In ECC also, you specify the customer here, which customer is buying this asset from you. Okay, so I will specify the customer. Let's see if he created any customer. We are not created any customer, right? We just created the vendors. Okay, so if I want to create a customer, again, if I try old transaction, that is XD01. So if you remember, we have seen this, these transactions are no more available and when you do this xc01 
system will redirect the control to transaction PP as transaction XT01 is obsolete. Okay, and system will automatically try to take you to BP where it will ask you, you want to create this business partner as person, organization, or group. So for customer and vendors, we are always going to select on organization, click on continue. So system has automatically determined the role FLCU00 for company code data and FLCU01 for sales area data. Okay, so we need to provide the grouping. So let's say I'm going with this grouping, which is triple zero one. And then system is asking us some mandatory information. So name of the customer, let's say it as a test uh, customer for SF01. Okay, just provide some search term and this some mandatory field. So let me enter some postal code city country and language okay so where is language so here is language just provide this and then click on company code data okay and we want to create this customer at company code sf01 okay so just select this and press enter system will ask you for the reconciliation account Okay, so you have to provide the reconciliation account here. Now again, I don't think we created any reconciliation account for AR. So we will go to transaction FS00. Okay, and here we will uh, just create a new account for AR. Okay, so I'm just deleting this and it is let's say 204 new. Oh, it's already created so we cannot use this number let's go with 205 and see if we can create this i think this is also no this is not created so gl account type would be balance sheet account account group also would be balance sheet this will be accounts receivables okay go to control data we have to specify that this account is of a reconciliation account type customers okay in the create bank interest tab we have to specify the free status group and normally we keep this as g067 for reconciliation accounts okay so just click on save so this will create our ar account which we can use in the creation of customer okay so now it is coming here let's do this 205 and click on save so now we have a customer which we can use in the sale transaction sale of asset okay so we can use this business partner number 67 but the customer number is 16. i think you already remember that this numbers can be different or this numbers can be same based on the configuration of business partner master data synchronization okay so now i'll be using this customer number 16 in my transactions so if i go to retirement here if i click on star search again system is showing me this customer okay so in asset retirement back to asset retirement in the asset retirement only difference that you can see is document type dr instead of aa okay just press enter enter another enter okay now in amount we have to specify whatever amount you want to uh, let's say sell so what is the value let's enter it here let me remove all these things from here first okay so what we are discussing is asset value as of 31st 03 2020 Okay, so what would be the value in terms of 0L and what would be the value in terms of IF? What would be the net book value? If you go to transaction AW01N, it will show you the net value of this asset as of the end of the year. Okay, so you can see if you just 
bring this down so at the end of year 2019 the value of this asset the net book value of this asset according to ifrs would be 8250 okay so this would be 8250 and according to 0l according to the leading ledger what would be the value so in order to check that we will go to book depreciation values and the value would be 8000 okay so for 0l the value would be 8000 and for ifrs value would be 8250 now let's say we are selling this asset at 8100 so can you tell me whether we are selling this asset at profit or at loss so for 0l is it a profit or is it a loss the net book value at the end of the year is 8000 and we are selling at 8100 so in 0l are we making a profit or a loss net book value is 8000 we are selling at 8100 so profit or loss in asset sales profit only it will be profit right how much profit the profit of 100 so you are gaining 100 what about in terms of ifrs it would be loss of 150 right so if you are selling the asset at 8100 according to the leading ledger there will be the profit of 100 according to the ifrs there will be the loss of 150 okay so let's let's do this let's try how the system behaves so if we are creating the customer invoice i have to specify the amount at which we are selling this asset so 8100 and then i have to specify the posting key okay which is for asset retirement so normally even in ecc also we use posting key 50 okay and we provide the uh, asset sales account here okay but we have still not created any asset sales account so again i need to go for transaction fs00 to create that account so fs00 let's create a new account what would what would be the prof, uh, this will be the revenue account so let's say 300 0 i don't think we have created any revenue account till now so real account type for revenue account would be primary cost or revenue okay account group would be profit and loss okay so this is sale from asset okay or asset sales account right in the control data since this is a primary cost or revenue account i have to specify the cost element category okay because system will definitely create a cost element for this and we will go with this cost element for revenue that is 11 and then in create bank interest tab we will go with field status group let's go with uh, A revenue accounts but there is one problem in the revenue accounts it will not allow us to select the asset let's see in the configuration so in asset accounting see we need this asset retirement and sub number available this should not be suppressed okay so for this we have to go for transaction obc4 which is related to the field status version and our field status version is sf01 or maybe we are using 0001 we are not created our own and here in field status groups for g029 we have to make this optional have you understood why i am doing this anybody has any question i'm not doing anything new but if if you have any question why you are doing this and why you are not doing that please please ask so that everybody understands what we are doing okay why i'm doing this is currently i want to use this gl account for asset sales 
and if i am using this for asset sales i have to tell the system this revenue belongs to which asset and that is the reason system should allow me to enter the asset number that is the reason i specified that i'll show you how it will work now so if i go to the customer item i have to provide the gl account so i just now i created gl account 300 which is asset sales i have to specify the transaction type okay what is transaction type earlier we provided transaction type 100 in which we said we are purchasing the asset similarly for retirement whenever you are retiring the asset the transaction type is 210 okay just specify 210 press enter it is asking you for asset number just give me a minute okay let's let's see just provide the asset number here or maybe let's do one thing mm. just give me a minute i think i'm doing something wrong i have to remove this transaction type i, I have to specify the account type is 110 110 i think so no no i think i'm doing this wrong okay let's let's try one thing so 50 and maybe, yeah sorry Agash. or maybe posting is not a 50 but 75 i think so uh i think it would pick automatically okay let's try one thing i think uh i should not provide any transaction type here just press enter and i have to provide the transaction type here yes i remember now so the amount you have to provide whatever amount you specified let's say you are selling at 8100 then you have to tick on this indicator and double click on the asset retirement this is always a problem even in ecc also so you have to be very careful when you are double clicking on this then only that uh, uh, one screen will open okay so cannot do anything from here let's let's go back once again f-92 this depends upon your mouse screen it is very critical indicator so posting t key would be also 31st 03 2020 here you have to provide the customer account which is 16 just press enter amount at which you want to sell here you have to provide the posting key 50 and you have to provide the gl account for the sales revenue press enter amount of 8100 and this is very critical here this needs to come let's see if i can see in the more no you do you remember anyone you need to double click on this asset retirement you have to provide the transaction type 210 whether the asset is completely retired or partially retired you have to provide in this screen click on asset retirement and uh, click on more that time you have to give a cost center data let's let's try no no cost center we don't want to provide cost center data we want to provide asset number and we want to provide the transaction type this is always a problem many customers complain it is nothing to do with it is just the click of mouse how fast is your mouse let's try akash suggestion so 8100 posting key 50 we have to provide uh, the revenue account just press enter so here let's provide the amount first so here normally okay let's let's click on tick on this now you want me to go to more akash no see it is not asking for asset normally when you tick on this retirement and if you double click on this it gives you separate screen where you need to provide the asset number and whether you want to retire it completely or partially 
I think you cost enter return there enter. Let's try. Yeah, but it's okay. Let's try. You will always get this error, but okay. We can just allow the revenue postings to this cost center as of now. So KS02, this cost center and control. I'm just removing this as of now. And then again, let's go to invoice enter enter no, okay let's do one thing let's try once again f dash 92 31 3 31 3 0 1 which is 16 15, 300, which is our account. Okay, now I am providing cost center. Okay, and then asset retirement, and let's double click here. Yes, this is a screen which I was talking about. So, normally, if your mouse, it, it always depends upon your mouse speed. If your mouse is okay, so what happens is it will not ask you for cost center because anyways you are providing the asset and cost center will be automatically picked from your asset. Okay, you can see transaction type is coming automatically. You don't need to provide it manually in the last screen. So here you just provide the asset number, which asset you want to sell. So we want to sell this asset. Okay, and the value date of the asset would be 31st 03-2020. Okay. And if you are retiring it partially, so you have to provide the quantity, percentage, or the amount. But if you want to completely retire the asset, you will click on complete retirement. Okay, so just select complete retirement, click on continue. Now, obviously, it will ask you different, different uh, questions because the system will not be able to find the GL accounts. Right? In AO90, we are maintaining the accounts whenever system is asking us because we want to see what is the impact of each and every process right so if you try to simulate this definitely system will ask you in which gl account shall i post the uh, gain or loss which is made from the asset sales okay so if i go for more document and simulate you can see it is asking different gl accounts so clearing account for revenue so this accounts we have to specify one by one. So in one shot, I will just create some GL accounts related to assets, and then I will assign those GL accounts in the configuration. So again, I'm going to FS00. I need to create one GL account, which would be, now again, it depends upon the customer, whether they want to create two separate GL accounts, one for gain and other for loss or whether they want to create one single account which will be responsible for gain as well as loss so if it is in gain it would be posted in minus and if it is loss it would be posted in plus as a debit right so let's create one only 301 which is of type profit and loss again so it would be primary cost or revenue profit and loss account and this is gain loss we are creating just one account on asset sales okay in the control data nothing is mandatory if you want you can maintain it otherwise just go to create bank interest tab and this is of type cost okay so just click on sorry in the control data since it is primary cost you have to specify the cost element category mandatorily so you can keep it at one or 11 doesn't matter just as of now i'm making one because even we are not sure whether it would be uh, expense or it would be revenue so if it is positive it is a uh, expense if it is negative it is a revenue okay so now this 301 account we have to assign in the configuration so ao90 where we maintain different gl accounts for our 
asset accounting. So chart of depreciation is SF02. Chart of account is SF01. Account determination. So whatever we are maintaining, we are maintaining for the vehicles. Balance sheet accounts. Book depreciation. So you can see there are some GL accounts related to retirement. OK, so this section is completely for retirement related. So loss made on asset retirement without revenue. So we only created one account. So I'm just providing that everywhere. Clearing account revenue from sale. This one we created the revenue account, which is 300. Gain from asset sales again 301 because gain and loss. I only created one GL account even for loss also. I will specify the same thing. OK, so in short, if you want to segregate this different account, so this is without revenue, which means this GL account will be impacted when you scrap the asset. These two GL accounts, one is for gain, other for loss. You can have two different GL accounts or you can have same account. It is completely OK. OK, so just save this. And now if you proceed with that invoice, customer invoice let's again go to more document and simulate maybe once more document and simulate it is still asking for the same sorry it is asking for depreciation area 02 so we have to maintain for 02 also so just go back in 02 area and provide the same thing whatever we provided earlier so 301 300 301 and 301 okay and now if i go to the customer invoice more document simulate once again more document simulate i think it is working now so you can see what is happening here customer is getting debited for 8100 which means our accounts receivables is getting debited by 8100 and our revenue account is getting credited by 8100 okay but apart from this there are also some other things which are happening which are happening in the asset accounting so if you click on asset accounting it will give you the complete picture. OK, so you can see what is happening. So currently we are seeing this picture for IFRS or maybe we are looking at Indian gap. Yeah, we are looking at the India gap as of now. So in case of India gap. Customer will pay us 8100. We purchase this asset at 10,000. We are selling this asset at 8100. The depreciation which is already used is 2000, which means 10,000 minus 2000, 8000 is a asset value as of today. OK, and again, this is a clearing account. You can see this is coming in DR also and this is coming in A also. So in terms of asset acquisition, which was this technical clearing account, it was playing the same role. In case of revenue, although we don't have any technical clearing account, but this asset sales account is playing the same role. The role of asset sales account is exactly same as the technical clearing account in case of. In case of your. Uh, acquisition now. Is this new? Do you think this posting is new? There were no technical. Uh, there were no clearing accounts earlier in ECC. In ECC at the time of retirement, there were always the clearing account. This is nothing new, but only new thing is it was actually getting all these lines are getting posted in one single document. But now this lines are getting segregated into two documents. So DR and AA and again for IFRS, there will be another AA document. So for retirement also one operational document two valuation specific documents. So you can see there is a gain of 100 minus means gain why because minus is revenue okay in your accounting basic accounting principles also minus means revenue and plus means expenses in terms of profit and loss postings so 100 is debit is it correct so we said yes we will be making the profit of 100 in our 0l that is india gap what about ifrs so if you go for ifrs 
if you just change this to IFRS and company code currency, you can see same thing. Accounts receivables 8100, which means customer will pay us 8100. Sale is of 8100. 11,000 was the purchasing cost, the acquisition value. 2750 has been depreciated already till this date on 31st, 3rd, 2020. And then 150 is your profit. Sorry, 150 is your loss because this is in expense side. So there is a loss of 150. Uh, Gauro, yes. Uh, in ECC, uh, can you explain clearly what will be the accounting entry separately? In ECC, accounting entry, okay. So, yes, let, let me explain here what will happen in ECC in case of retirement. So, whenever you retire the asset, there will be docu there will be only one document type document type aa okay which will have first line as ar okay so in this case ar would be 8100 uh, you have sales which would be again minus 8100 okay which will be in the minus sign then you will have the acquisition cost let me move this a little further. Yeah, acquisition cost of 10,000 because we purchased this asset for 10,000. Accumulated depreciation of 2,000. So this would be minus because this is already done. And then the last one would be profit or loss. Okay, which should be how much? It would be 100. So if you see this is settled, there will be one more entry for sales again, but this time it would be plus 8100. So these two are settled. If you if you just take this into Excel, let me take this into Excel. So oh, here uh, the asset sales is acting as a clearing account. That is what you are Yes, even in ECC. Yes, even in ECC, this asset sales account is uh, acting as a clearing account. Okay, I got it. Okay, so now if you see, let me write this again. So, delete. It is not allowing me to delete. Okay, let's enter a new line here. So this is 8100 debit because you are receiving from the customer. Sales will be minus, so minus 8100. Acquisition was plus 10,000. Accumulated depreciation was. Just give me a minute. This would go away. This would not come, right? You are selling. Uh, you are selling it, right? So it would be minus minus ten thousand. Accumulated depreciation will be plus two thousand, which you already used. This would be profit, right? So plus no profit is minus. So minus one hundred, and sales again would be eight thousand one hundred because this is a clearing account. So if you sum this, this should be zero, right? Can you see the zero? So this would be the accounting entry in SAP ECC, but all these lines will be part of one single document because in SAP ECC, we don't have the concept of uh, uh, dividing the document into two parts, operational and valuation specific. This particular functionality is already introduced in S4 HANA, right? So the postings will be same, but only thing is now these lines are segregated into two parts your operational and valuation specific. Understood Varun? Yeah, go yes. So you can see here also these are six lines, but only thing is half of the lines are with document type DR and half of the lines are with document type AA. So revenue and customer is segregated and all related to asset accounting are segregated in another document.
okay so if it looks okay you can just click on post and it will post the document okay so forget about this we are not going to post this because it will ask you for many different things which are part of ecc with, without any change so there is no item category this is related to the uh, document splitting functionality where you uh, you have to assign this gl account 300 uh, to the account assignment category okay so if you assign that then this document will be posted without any problem okay if you want we can just solve this by going to document splitting functionality so spro mg general ledger accounting business transactions document splitting and classify gl accounts so new uh, we are getting this error for gl 300 okay but definitely it will ask you many others so 300 to 300 and this is our expense account right so we can directly provide this as expense account and click on save but i don't think it will allow us to save we have to again go back and try to post it again let's try we have to go again for f-92 okay so once more so zero one here i need to provide the customer press enter provide the amount at which you want to sell here you have to provide 50 you cannot provide 75 here 75 system will automatically determine even in ecc also the posting key which you specify in the second line is 50 and you provide here the asset clearing account okay so just press enter specify the amount and then normally we don't need to provide this cost center but if your mouse is working fine you can just ignore this otherwise you have to provide it just tick on this asset retirement double click on this the screen will get opened here you need to specify which asset are you selling transaction type will come automatically you have to provide the asset value date and tick on complete retirement continue just click on continue if you are getting this message okay and click on post so if, i think the continue was not working so i clicked on cancel so maybe when you are practicing just click on cancel and post now there is another error constant z001 for ledger i don't know who created this ledger exclamation mark star <laughs> okay so don't worry because uh, if, you, if you keep on solving this error you you will not be able to proceed with this okay so this is i think somebody has created a new ledger for which they have not maintained this configuration so better if you are getting this kind of errors just deactivate the document splitting for your company code okay and then these errors are not relevant to you because you don't have this ledger in your company code okay but only in the test system when you are using the production system all ledgers are your ledgers right you cannot assume that this ledger is not created by me so uh, this is not a ledger that i should be worried about in the production system all the ledgers which are created those are belonging to the same client okay so not like us we are creating our own ledgers when we are creating the company code that will be a completely different scenario and you have to take care of this error if it is coming in the production system okay but anyways if you if you need to solve this can you tell me how to solve this is it a new thing this is also in ecc so constant z001 for ledger does not contains any value so what you will do in document splitting there is a constant so you just have to create a constant for this ledger to solve this error. Okay, any questions till now in the asset retirements or anything related to assets, related to new asset accounting?